This video will explain how you can get your SMS phone number and how you can create automation to create SMS, notification, emails, etc. On the home page of your account, there will be a message with button to get your phone number. Click on it. A pop-up will open with a list of some numbers. Just type the area code in this field and select one of the listed number. That's it, you have a number you can use for automation. Before we create an automation, we will need to create a show. That's a simple process. On the left side menu, click on the plus button within the show option. You can import the show from YouTube and also from RSS feed. Let's start from scratch. You will be prompted to fill out a new form asking for show details. You can also preview what this looks like to users. Type the title of show and name of creator. Here, upload a cover art. You can choose from library or you can upload your custom one. Enter the summary of your show in this field and pick a theme color. You can set your episode release type and its access duration. In the ownership block, type owner name, the email address, and copyright details. You can edit the listener access email or left empty to its default. Lastly, click save and preview. Then create show. You need to have at least one episode in order to publish and create show. After upload, select the episodes and publish it. Now you have a show. Here comes our special feature, the automation. This will allow you to trigger messages, emails, app notification, audio shows and web hooks that you will create based on the user activity that you will choose. Click this button to start creating your first automation. First, select the show on which you want to enable automation. Then, choose the user activity or events listed here. Listener gets access. This will trigger when user got his access to the show. Playthrough rate. This will trigger when a user reach on a specific runtime of any episode in a show that you will choose. Listener stops. This will trigger when users stop listening an episode or inactive. Listener start show. This will trigger when users start to listening the show. On a specific date. This will trigger on a specific date that you can choose. Listener finishes show. This will trigger when user finishes all episodes in a show. Let's choose a playthrough rate. Select any episode and runtime on which you would like to trigger. Then select what to trigger when a user activity match criteria you selected above. Let's say I want to send a SMS. A live preview will be enabled on right side. Enter the SMS text, then choose confirm. That's all, you create an automation that will send a SMS. You can create multiple automation on single show. I want to send an email to the user on a specific date. Choose this option and then select the date. From here, click on send email. Give details of your email you would like to send. Lastly, click on confirm. Now, an email will be sent to the user on date you selected. Let's create another last automation. This automation will send an app push notification when a user stop listening to the show. Enter the title and message of notification in these fields. Paste the link of any image, video or jiffy you would like to show. And here, enter button details. Click confirm. We created three automation now. First one will send SMS, second one will send email to the user, and last one will send app notification. Thanks for watching.